Hey everybody! It's about time, it's about time! So today, as you have seen on my thumbnail and the description down below, today you'll be hearing story time with my grandma and I. I do hope that you'll be um, happy to watch this and also I do hope you will leave a comment, share my content and please do like. If you have not subscribed as yet, well, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe and support Jojo Sam. Okay, okay, okay. Auntie Megan. Yes, <laughs> Hi. So, hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Auntie Megan. Hello. You ready for story time? Yes. <laughs> all right so tell the viewers what is your name and where are you from and what is your favorite color to start off i am megan i'm from manchester mandeville my favorite color is purple lavender lavender <laughs> which school did you go to and how was it for you growing up Oh, I went to St. Catherine Primary School. In my in my school time was very rough. Very, very rough. St. Catherine Primary School. So in the two days a week or three days a week. Mm -hmm. Have to walk from, from Bernard Lad straight to Spanish Town. So there was no taxi, no donkey. <laughs> No, no taxi. The company prepare. The company prepare ride for the children them in the area. But the people them that raised me did not register me to go and the 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 um the pick up. But I had was to work morning and evening. So before before you go to like what time of the morning you would wake up. And did you have choice to do before you have to leave out in the morning? Who you used get to live with? Get up from five, five o'clock, sweep yard, feed fowl, catch up fire, sweep out kitchen, and everything before for me leave. Sometimes I love you what I am before me go. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to do any form of cooking? Or you had any El younger siblings that you had to take care of? My parents give me away to some people. One thing I can tell you is that when you have your children, care all life rough. Stay with them. The Lord will see you through. Amen. Don't give them away because nobody not giving away. Keep them again. And I was give away, not me alone. My mother had 12 children and I don't think she did raise one out of the 12. She gave away all to strangers and we did have a hard time in life. So whenever you have your children, them no care how life rough. God will see you through with them. You keep them. You are not alone. So you, you learned any trade while growing up? Any skill you learned while growing up and from who? No, no skill more than more than learn to cook, learn to wash, learn to iron, and learn to patch. <laughs> that when you turn a big woman and you married, you can patch your husband chose it. <laughs> so did you have any any role model or any best friend while growing up? No. I was grown like a prisoner, peeping through the zinc fence, not to talk to nobody and not to talk to nobody children. So, so how did you come about meeting your husband? <laughs> that was late. That was that was that was recently meeting the husband. That was recently. Got to a rough time before it started started to talk to um to man rough rough time then 
that raised me, she yeah. dressed me in, I have to him, and put on button, make button hole. Night time, go to bed hardly 11, 12 at night. And by 5 o'clock, I have to hop. So you have any particular story in mind, something that you never forget that happened to you? Something that you think we all probably can learn from or take a page from your book? A whole, a whole lot. Because the, the gentleman that take me and say that he's an, he, he and my mother is relative, take, take me from, I was six year old, little bit before train crash, Kendall Kane train crash. Mm -hmm. Just little before Kendall came, train crash. He take me, but I I was between six to seven year old, and they take me and grow in Spanish town down by Bernard Lodge. Could could not do anything to help myself much, but going and going and grow by myself, disadvantage me, beat me for everything. Every little thing they beat me for, so, so, uh, and I grow with the, the goat and the fall. And the pig, those was my company. And I remember that one day I catch one of the chicken, put him in my lap and break his foot <laughs> and take piece of wood and set back in foot. And every day me look at him and I say, me sorry for the poor chicken. <laughs> but me couldn't do better because I was under stress. And beat the dog, the, the goat and the hog them. And goes on, I get a lot of disadvantage. Wasn't a bad child. Did Freda lick. Was very humble. I remember one day the lady have tell me if he catch up the fire and put the hood in the fire and piece of iron on the fire side. And every evening she beat me and said, I'm going to set the iron straight. <laughs> Until one evening she grabbed something and licked me and my face was full of pure blood. Mm. And the man, the man, the, the husband started to quarrel until I said, that's a cruelty. Mm. And me start to fret over my mother and my sister and brother there. Me start to a cry, cry every minute. But if me ever make this, if me a cry, then kill me with you. Mm. It was very rough. Rough, mm. rough, rough, so rough. So how did, um, how long now are you saved? How long now have you been a oh, Christian? When I was 13 year old. When I was 13 year old. One Bishop Cornwall, is Bishop Cornwall no? He was the evangelist Cornwall. Mm. He no Cornwall. Church of God of Prophecy. Come in the district and start to keep street meeting. I go there. Time I was 13 year old and I accept Jesus Christ as my personal savior one night. Mm. And well, after I accept Jesus, that's the time the devil say, I caught you where I want you. And um, the man that raised me now start to disadvantage me. And um, when the wife is not there, he want to mess around me. And me tell the wife, well, she came down with one bottle of water one day. One backward bottle of water, she licked him in her head with it one day, and he said, he said, I have to go come out here. I have to go come out here because you have to lie for me. And she sleep in the market. She sell in the market and sleep in the market two nights a week. Mm. And remember one morning, he get up, ask me if I not go look after him breakfast. Mm. I go, brush my teeth, wash my face, about to go and look after the breakfast. The man pitched me, and I did a game, did give him a fine horse. Mm. <laughs> so you say, I'll fight on to boy, Megan. <laughs> the boy, them, 
The boys, them in the area, hear me and him. No, they never like him because when they play a ball and the ball come over the yard, he don't give them the ball mm-hmm. or he cut up the ball so them have a hatred stream. So when they hear me and him over there, they come near to the fence and start to ask him, lick him, make and lick him, <laughs> lick him. <laughs> when I lick him, they say, hey, hey, lick him, lick him. <laughs> and call him that mouth, can chew him out like a... <laughs> go for the market and tell the lady what take place. And he said, I lie, no, no go so. So I start to cry and tell them, I want to go home to my parents. I want to go home. Mm-hmm. But the wife said, I write your yard, see, you know, go no way. And that was where the hell start with me and him. You know, may accept Jesus as my personal savior and go in on. And on and on. So tell we leave from Don Bernard Lodge and then by Peter Place in Tredigo Park, Spanish Town. And that was the time I get to leave them. Still going through this advantage, same way, can't go nowhere. 16, 17 year old, being young lady, barefoot, walk up and down, barefoot, no brazier. Mm-hmm. One of my brother was living in Spanish town, me tell him the condition and he said to me, say, the most whole hand so tell him get one room. Mm-hmm. Free move, ma come for me. It was no time after my brother leave and go man the villa and he go man the villa back. Him say me must come and that's the time I get away from them. Mm-hmm. If I tell you that I didn't falter, I would be telling a lie. Because none of us is perfect. Mm-hmm. And I was searching for love because I did not have any love around me. Lack of love. Because of that, I used to sing this song, I'm nobody's child. No mommy kisses and no daddy smile. That's the song I used to sing, I'm nobody's child. But, no- but the writer said, when you fall... You don't stay down there, you rise up back and thank God for Jesus. I remember my first child that I had, I and the father went to a party one night, one of his friend party. And go dear man party hat. <laughs> and he asked me, say, what me drinking? So he said, I'm ready if you drink nothing yet, you observe the party. And while he was there, him buy a beer, can come give me. And he said to me, say, what oh, you look like, say, you're not happy at all. He said, me all right, man. He said, see, they're not him the beer, you're not drink. Mm. But in the meantime, when I reach in the party, I hear a voice to me, say, don't forget your testimony. I don't know where that voice come from, but I hear the voice to me, say, don't forget your testimony. Mm-hmm. And for the rest of the night, I have to go in the car, go sit down until the party finish. Mm-hmm. From that, I never go, go back to another party. Because any, how oh, I, I say I go and go any places like those places, I feel small because there is a voice reminding me about my testimony. Mm-hmm. So, Auntie so, Megan... Do you have an advice to people who are watching or who will watch this video as it as it regards to serving the Lord? Do you have an advice to give them even as we live in this serious time? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. A whole lot. A whole lot. Christ is very near. And the, 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 the thing I can tell a person says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all his righteousness, another thing shall be added unto you. In everything, put God first in your life. Mm-hmm. He is the center of our life. Put God first in your life. Don't forget the Lord. If you going out and coming in, remember that we cannot go to bed without him. And a lot of people 
say that them wake. You could not wake by yourself. My mother went to sleep and she did not wake up until today. Day. And I asked God to help me that wherever my mother find herself today because she wasn't sick, I would not like to find myself there. Mm. Would not like to find myself there because when you don't take God as your personal savior, El shall be your portion. You have to repent to see the face of Jesus. That's like what I can tell any man. I can recommend the Lord to any man. Make him be your center, the center of your life in everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Auntie Megan. Thank you, Auntie Megan. <laughs> yes, Jody. So there you have it, guys. Story time with my grandma. I do hope you learned something about back then and i do hope that you are encouraged to stay in line and stay focused on god until next time thank you if you have not subscribed please subscribe like and share my contents thank you for always being supportive goodbye and god bless you bye i love you all <laughs>